In this video, we'll be multiplying complex numbers. So we know that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. That's the definition of what the imaginary number is. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Okay, so what is i squared? Well, i squared, you would, if, you, if you know this is true, i is equal to the square root of negative 1, then i squared would be this. Take the negative the square root of negative 1 and square it. Now, anytime that you square a square root, what happens? Well, the square root and the square cancel each other out, and whatever's on the inside is what's left. So that tells us that i squared is actually equal to negative 1. Okay, so for our purposes, that's all we need to know for this video. Okay, so anytime we see an i squared in this video, we're going to change it out for negative 1. Okay, so first problem. First, take this and distribute. Okay, so negative times a negative is a positive, right? 5 times 6 is 30, and the i just gets carried along. Okay, uh, negative times a positive is a negative. There's the 30, but this time we have i and another i. So anytime you have i times i, that's i squared, right? But we know that i squared is negative 1. Okay, so we can replace that. We can do 30i minus 30 times negative 1 instead of an i squared. And negative 30 times negative 1 is 30. So you get 30i plus 30. And the correct form of writing your answers when they're in complex form is a uh, plus or minus bi. So the one without the i in it needs to come first, like this 30 here. And the one with the i in it comes second. So we'll rewrite this as 30 first, the one that doesn't have the i in it, plus 30i, a plus bi. Okay, let's look at this one. We've got multiple distributions here. So I'll take the 2 and distribute and then I'll take the negative 6i and distribute, okay? So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 2 times 2i is 4i, just 2 times 2, keep the i. Takes care of that. Now negative 6i times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive, and then it's just 6i, because it's just times a 1 there, okay? And then negative 6i times 2i, well, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12, and then i times i is i squared, okay? So we're going to replace this. I'll just go ahead and mark it out, and I'm going to replace it with a negative 1 because of the definition, okay? So in our next step, we can write negative 2. Let's combine these two terms. They're like terms, right? 4i plus 6i is 10i, and then negative 12 times negative 1 is positive 12. Now we have two more like terms. 12 minus 2 is 10. And remember, the one without the i goes first. So 10 and then plus 10i. You may be wondering, oh, are they gonna, are they gonna turn out that way every time? You know, you got the 30 plus 30i, you got the 10 plus 10i. No, definitely not. You'll see that in a second. Okay. Okay, in this problem, we have two parentheses. Again, we're going to distribute. So we'll take this 2 and go here, and then we'll take this negative 5i and go here. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 3i is negative 6i. Now it takes care of that. Now we do the negative 5i times 1. Anything times 1 is just itself, right? So just negative 5i. And then this is a negative 5i times a negative 3i, which is... Of course, positive because negative times a negative. So positive 15, and then i times i is i squared. Of course, we're going to replace that i squared with, you guessed it, negative 1. Okay, so let's, let's uh, also combine these two in our next step. So we get 2. These two combine. They're both negative, so add, keep the sign. Negative 11i. And then negative, or positive 15, excuse me, 15 times negative 1 is negative 15. Okay. Now, again, we have like terms. Okay. So keep the sign of the bigger number and then subtract. Bigger number is negative. So negative and then 15 minus 2 is 13. So negative 13. That's these two. 
and then just carry down the negative 11i. Did we write it in the correct form? Yes, we did, because remember, it's a plus or minus bi. Okay, so this is the answer. Let's look at this one. So here and here, here and here. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Negative 4 times i is negative 4i. It takes care of this. Now for this one, 6i times negative 5, that's negative, right? Positive times a negative. So negative 30i. And then last we got 6i times i. So nothing to multiply the 6 by, but the i becomes i squared, which we will cross out and make a negative 1. Okay. Combine these two and multiply that 6 times the negative 1, so we get 20. These are both negative, so add and keep the sign, so negative 34i. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Okay. And then we'll again combine like terms. 20 minus 6, 14. Remember to write the term that doesn't have the i in it first, minus 34i. So 14 minus 34i. Okay, last two. Distribute and distribute. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times i is 3i. Negative 3i times 2 is negative 6i. And then last, negative 3i times i is negative 3i squared, which we will replace with negative 1. Okay, so combine these two terms. Drop down the 6. Uh, 3 minus 3i minus 6i, the sign of the bigger one is negative, and then 6 minus 3 is 3. So negative 3i when you combine these two together. And then negative 3 times this, what was it, i squared is now negative 1, so negative times a negative is a positive 3. And then combine like terms, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 minus 3i is your answer. And finally this one. So distribute and distribute. So 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times negative 2i is negative 2i. Negative i times 4 is negative 4i. And then negative i times negative 2i. Negative times a negative is a positive. So positive 2i squared. And the i squared term will replace with a negative 1. Okay. And combine like terms here. So we get 4. Uh, they're both negative. So add, keep the sign. Minus 6i. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Combine like terms again, and you get, let's see, 4 minus 2 is 2, minus 6i. And that's it.